I took out my uh, Zion Weeble S gimbal and I plugged it on to see how good it was and without a camera it was really bad you were shaking like hell there's too much vibration so I decided let me upgrade the software because there is a software upgrade available and see if that helps and uh, then I uh, changed the tilt motor power to, uh, to less than 8 and that helped a lot I, I don't know whether if I had upgraded if I had not upgraded the software whether the tilt reducing the tilt motor power to below 8 would have helped but you can try it out try it out uh, reduce the tilt motor power to less than 8 mine is set to 6 and then see if your camera still keeps vibrating your gimbal while, while the camera is balanced on it will vibrate if it does then upgrade the uh, gimbal software weeble uh, gimbal software and see and then check whether it will still vibrate when the tilt motor setting is set to below 8 so let's have a look this is how I uploaded the software and how I uh, adjusted the motor speed okay here I am searching for the Weeble S website On Windows 8 it goes directly to the Weeble S page on Windows 10 it allows you to select which uh, gimbal you are planning to download the software for so one by one we go through all the options we download the firmware first and then uh, the calibration tool and the USB drive After that, we download the documentation. So let's uh, connect up the USB-C cable from the gimbal to my PC. That stupid cover seems to be a bit irritating to open, but I had extracted the programs and so now it is responding just checking the firmware file Executing the setup file. So when you switch it on with the 
with my Sony Alpha 5100 balanced on it with a longer lens. It uh, has some vibration. I don't know why they cannot allow us to switch off the motors. Actually, this is a really stupid manual. Without switching off the gimbal, right? So that we could balance it and we could still have some communication going between the my PC with the calibration software, which I have not figured out how to get it to work and the gimbal because it keeps vibrating non-stop even when I'm trying to get the calibration to work Ayo, the stupid mono is not logical. Okay. Ayo, the stupid useless mono. Select the motor settings and then go down to custom settings and set your tilt power to less than 8. In my case, I think I set it to 6. So I had it uh, first time at 8, then the second time I changed it to 6. that's it don't do an auto level huh? if you do an auto level it will set it back to 16 so it's saved let it be saved as custom value and let me switch this off You cannot auto tune. You have to run it like this. Just 
reduced the tilt motor setting and now it's much better you can move around but you cannot do an auto tune it's really rotten the menu it's illogical when you want to move up and down you can't use the up and down you have to rotate how stupid can people get huh? okay now my it's done and I can balance a much heavier now it's a heavier thing and I think I can go back and balance it with the, the small lens my static lens let's uh, try that out okay I've changed it to my kit lens and uh, so let's uh, move it around we balance it Press this down and lock its position. Okay. So this has to be raised up a bit. pendulum so it has to be raised up a little bit it's still a pendulum So it is uh, it's that side. So I have to bring it in. Let's see if I can bring it in all the way. Still a little bit on that side. That's where some weights will work. But anyway, let's test this out. Let's see if it's slightly off balance whether it will work. Let me switch it on. It's on lower. Ah! It's okay. Slightly off balance, but so I can. Oh, I'm pressing the function button here. okay uh, better than before at least it I know it can balance uh, the light camera now so in the end 
uh, I have shown that it is possible with a firmware upgrade to uh, reduce the vibration, almost nullify all the vibration for light cameras. Uh, you have to reduce the tilt motor strength to something like 8 instead of the standard 16 and also don't auto tune because the moment you do you do an auto tune it will erase your own setting and use its own setting uh, the thing i didn't test was if i had uh, done a custom moto setting to six for the tilt moto rather than upgrade and then do it so you can try uh, set changing your tilt motor setting to six and if that doesn't work you still got a lot of vibration in your camera then upgrade the software the firmware the gimbal firmware and see if you will be getting uh, a better no vibration system but i must tell you the menu on the stupid gimbal is horrid it's like they didn't have any intelligence when they were developing the menu it was like an afterthought i'm a software developer i've been developing software since the earliest is 1976 so when i look at these guys oh my god how can they do such stupidity anyway uh, as long as the gimbal works well and you don't have to do any more adjustments that's the most important thing so i hope zayun takes some initiative and effort to improve the next generation VBLS gimbals hey uh, there will be a lot more interesting videos coming up on my channel so do subscribe press the like button so that your friends can know about it bye